everyone. Today we're doing a fun, quick, no-carve pumpkin activity to decorate some uh, little pumpkins that I've got here. So what we're doing is we are doing this. This is just my little guy that I just made and he is a pumpkin pomander. So what we're doing is simply pumpkins and cloves and it smells so good and it's a great activity for helping to build fine motor skills for young kids. And like I said, there's it's a no-carve activity for Halloween. So all you need is some whole cloves. I'll show you what those look like. So those are what they look like. They've got like a little stalk on the end and then like a little rosebud end on there. And then you need your pumpkins. Um, the smaller pumpkins tend to have slightly thinner skin, so sometimes it can be a little easier to work with. Um, certain pumpkins have thicker skin, so you want one that's got a little thinner skin if you want it easier for your kids. And then I use a thumbtack to help trace out my design. You could also just have the kids draw it on with a marker. And then I'm just using a nail that is about the same thickness as my clove because the cloves being all natural um, will crush. So you wanna make little holes first with the nail so that you can slide the cloves in. So I'm going to start by making my marks for my little pumpkin face. Let's see. So all I'm doing is just poking little holes just so I know exactly where I want to put my face. So I'm gonna make a little eyeballs here and I'm gonna make the holes about a centimeter apart so that there is enough room for the cloves to go in. Go. The benefit of doing it with a marker is that you could wipe it off and take it off if you needed to. So there, I've just kind of mapped out some eyeballs. You can see there's a little bit of juice coming out. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my nail and I'm just gonna go in each hole and I'm just gonna widen it out. Move some of that juice out of the way. So the easiest way to do this is to take your nail and just twist like that. And you're just gonna make a hole. And you're gonna go around to each one and just make your hole. And you could also give your kids a little hammer if you wanted if you don't think they'll actually go crazy with it and uh, let them hammer this in just for something fun, build some of those skills. So those are my holes. And now all you do is take your cloves and slide them into the holes. And let me tell you, when the pumpkin mixes with the cloves, it smells so good. This is one of those wonderful sensory activities that will really stick with your kids and it'll be something that they will talk about for a very long time because of how it smells. And in the future, if they ever smell it again, it'll immediately bring them back to this activity and the memories you created doing this with them. Normally this is done with oranges, but this is our fun twist on how we did it for Halloween as a fun activity. So there's one eyeball done. And now we're just gonna do the other eyeball, add a mouth. You could do any designs you wanted for Halloween. You can make it say boo. You can do all sorts of different things. So I'm gonna do the other side now. Now, if you wanna really have some fun with your kids, you can also bring in some more tools to do this activity. So you can use a hammer. You could also use a drill. So for the hammer, we can just take our nail, hammer it in there, pull it out, throw in our clove, easy peasy. Or let's get the kids using a drill, right? These are all skills that we want our kids to develop. So we'll just take our drill, line it up, pull it out. And you can't tell me that your kids are not gonna love using a drill to do this with their pumpkin. They're gonna think it's the greatest thing ever. 
Plus, the drill and the hammer might give them a little bit more control over getting the nails um, in and out and making the holes. Um, so you might get a little bit more precision. If nothing else, it's just so much fun. So those are just a couple of more ideas of how you could do your finishing touches on your pumpkin. Pumander. I'm going to do some more drilling because it's fun. Go ahead, make your pumpkin pomander. If you want, get out the tools and make this an activity that your kids will never forget. <laughs>